Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Hey, everybody. It's Thursday, Thursday. Yes. It's dreary and a little drizzly around here, May 9th. But Cody and I have a song in our heart. <laughs> we are full of sunshine. <laughs> yes. That's exactly. How it. are you? You good? You doing well? I'm good. But you've been very Your cards match your dress. Oh, my God. A tad it is off. almost a perfect. A tad off. All right. So you were busy yesterday because you were reunited with your old lover. And it feels so good. Yes. Uh, they called us uh, they called us both, and you said politely, no, they don't want me, and that's not no, true. No, Access Hollywood Live wanted you they're and the They're here range. in New York. They're, they're doing their show here, mm -hmm. and they're right in this building right across the street, and they said, would you come by uh, and, uh, and and surprise Regis? So uh, what am I going to do? You had rude. to. I love the Regis man, oh, so we see. went. She's doing so great with Hoda. Oh, or is it get her name right, Regis? <laughs> I can never get her name right. I love her. She's great. And they're great together. You know that. And oh. a great lead in for you. See what yeah. she used to do so for him. Are you I'm going to step up my game. I'm trying to give you an honor here. Okay, go ahead. But it's a great lead in for your show. Oh, you kidding? Yeah. Yeah, they're getting stronger all yeah, the time. They're titans of TV, and we just ride their way. Yeah. <laughs> we love the coattail. We're hanging Hoda on, Regis. especially loves to be ridden. We're Kathy Lee was really a, one among, uh, well, it was a, a year and a half of other co-host before you wormed your yes. way in. <laughs> <laughs> I slept my way in and you know it. <laughs> Just keeping it straight. Keeping it straight. It was a lot of fun. And I think we're going to have a little news to tell you about in a, in a week or two about Billy Bush and Kit and me and you. Oh, well, do, yes, we will reveal it later. Experiment. All right. So who wants to be a millionaire? That is another show with the million doesn't go as far as it used to go. I take who, these days has to be trillionaire. Well, Meredith Vieira uh, is was hosting it. And yes. we were on during that time and we played for a charity. A yes, children's charity. The, the, the Children's Miracle Network's hospitals. I Let, it's, it's airing tonight or tomorrow. Friday. Finally. All right. Let's watch. Tomorrow. So have you had something to drink? Oh, of course you have today. You must have. You know what? That's really none of your business, Mary. <laughs> I, can, I can smell it. So uh, well, it, it, that's Brussels sprouts, okay? <laughs> but let's just remind you of all the times you went boozing with us. Yes. Okay. You looked to at friends. Us. Cops and robbers, an old married couple, meat and potatoes, <laughs> Kathy Lee and Hoda. Oh! Wait. Two friends who can't stop it fighting. It wouldn't be cops and robbers. And that's it's not us. Meat and potatoes. No. An well, old, old married couple. couple. That's what it is. Well, but, but they're two, two friends. friends. I think it would be B. B. We're in stereo. We think it's B. An old married couple. Final answer. Yeah. It yeah. is. It's gonna run. You're going to have to wait and see how much money we won for them, but it was a whole lot. And, and we weren't as stupid as we thought. Uh, we were worried. That was the only no, reason we didn't. We love Meredith. We wanted to do it. I hate game shows for that I reason. Say no, all, you know what else you, is coming out? There's another one pretty soon, but we can't say what that is either. We have a lot of secrets we can't reveal. Okay, anyway, but I want to say thank you to everybody on Facebook who realized that I don't know how to feed Blake <laughs> properly. Because I told you I was having trouble. I, I fill the bowl up. 400 or so people. I fill the bowl up. I put it down. He looks at me like, and? So and then I pick it up and pretend to eat it with a spoon. Now like, he knows now, you're cause crazy. Because he, he likes what, whenever I'm eating something, he wants it. So right. now I'm eating, eating, faking it. And then he looks at me. Then I take a little bit of the juice and put it in the spoon and he licks it. And then I feel, anyway, the, everyone said, stop doing that. Coddling him. But they have other suggestions of how to make him like the dog food. They say to add things into it. Um, like That he can't uh, separate out. He is cute, I gotta say. They say to add in like cheese or scrambled, scrambled eggs, eggs or, yep. or cooked Protein, rice. Chicken. Sometimes I add baby food in it or some of the canned stuff. They told me to put baby food in it, but oh. it was good. He likes it. I, mu I mix it all in there. Um, but you said... Leave it there and when he's hungry he'll eat. Yes. And some other person, who's like a shrink, said that it's a control issue, and Blake does it because he can get all of your attention focused on him. Yes. So you put his, put your the the bowl down and walk Leave. away. What do you, do you have trouble with the dogs eating, or do your dogs just eat? Maybe. <laughs> so I, here's the trouble. What? Once you start feeding them your food, table they, food, they will never want. Why would they? They're not stupid. So um, so you feed them table food. Yeah, now they, they, he, Bambino sits in my lap and eats out of my dish. I'm kidding. He, he does. Does. Christine thinks so. But uh, no, it's not quite that bad. But uh, it, it's it's sort of that bad. Okay. <laughs> if you guys have ever been to an Abercrombie and Fitch, I don't know if you've noticed this, but if you've looked through the racks of clothing, you might find out that there is not a bigger size than a 10. Which is not considered big. I think the average size the for biggest, a woman in America is 14. Here's the biggest size they carry in jeans. Whoa. Whoops, sorry. Okay, that's it. So if, that, you're, if you're bigger than that, I don't think I could fit in. I, I know I could. And I, I don't think I wear a 
tent. I know I don't wear a tent, but they, those don't look like, I don't know. Well, they're trying to keep the, I, it sounds like they don't they don't want the business of the bigger folks, of the bigger. Or they're trying to make it elite, and that most of their buyers are are kids, right? The teenagers. The teenagers the, are. The, 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 the beef that I've had with Abercrombie and Fitch all these years is their, their sex uh, sexploitation to me mm-hmm. of young people in their ads. Mm-hmm. So that's why I never went in there. And never, I'm well, not going to spend money at a place that does that to young children. Well, they care. They carry the smaller sizes for women, the tens and and lower, and they carry the double XLs for men because they want the they, athletes. They want the athletes yes. coming. So we'd all love right. to know what you all think about that. We did reach out to them for a um, a comment, and they did not return our call. But in 2006, the company CEO, who we happen to have a picture, Mike of, Jeffries, was hey. quoted as saying, "They hire good-looking people in the store to attract good-looking people." He says that companies try to target all sizes, they end up in trouble, and when you don't alienate anyone, you don't excite anyone. Let's take a look at him again. <laughs> Shall we? Just for fun. Okay. Yeah. Bless you. Looks like he's sneezing. I, I Yeah, I don't... I, ever since he said that in 2006, it also confirmed that oh. I didn't want... Yeah. All right, here's a quick iota for you. You go to Walmart, you, they say, hi, how you doing? I, Come on in. All right. You're right. Is right. it okay or, or not, not okay, okay all right. for moms and daughters to dress alike? All right. Now, what we should explain to you all is when we get these questions Please do from... Not- the magazine. We don't know who they're putting in and what they're saying about them. So, okay. so let's listen yeah. to what we said. What did I say? I don't know. I think over the age of six, it's a little weird unless it's Halloween. And even then, I'm the last person my daughter wants to look like, believe me. Nothing is wrong with that. Twinsies. <laughs> Precious. Hmm. Okay. We were better when we did it. <laughs> we thought we were great. Back All right. Last we, week when we did it. We went real quick. We went to see Matilda last we night. We did. Yesterday. Packed to the with mi- kids, by the way. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, and you know, of all the shows uh, for this uh, spring season, I got to say, I was I was anticipating going yeah. to see that. They got the best reviews. It got it's a huge hit already in London. Mm-hmm. And I was a bit taken back by it. Mm-hmm. I really was. Mm-hmm. I, I, it, I, I, I think it's a generational thing. I never read the book as a child. Right. And I didn't, I didn't see the movie. My daughter and her best friends love the movie right i think uh i I, it's it's quite dark i don't think it's it's for all children i truly don't there's some some scenes in it that are um uh, unless you know your child and your child is 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 okay there's some moments that are really quite cruel to the children i think i mean it's all in the book so if they know what to expect i think it would be fine there's a guy who plays the headmistress and he is carvel or carvel please when you see him and the little girl ridiculous and funny and a little girl there are four little girls who play matilda and it's got a beautiful message at the end of the day about um about teasing and being smart instead of being strong standing up for yourself so it's good in that sense